So today is a simple continuation of the reward-based system we worked on on entry one um, with uh, essentially marker training with a verbal mark uh, and we're still working on place. Uh, we've working on giving her some nonverbal cues to the place board, marking and releasing from the place, sending from a bit of a distance, um, and asking for some duration. So uh, if, you, if you've read any of the blog entries, namely uh, the How to Train a Dog entries, um, you know, we, we discussed the three Ds um, kind of ad nauseum, uh, and that's distance, duration, and distraction. Uh, and, and this is where we begin that work. Uh, in the next entry, we're going to begin to introduce uh, the remote collar a little bit. And it's simply going to be a vibrate function on the collar. Uh, there won't be any, any uh, painful stimulation. Um, but we will be introducing her to the novel stimulus of that, of that vi vibration. And we're going to use it in a way that, in my opinion, mimics uh, negative reinforcement. Um, and, and hopefully uh, makes that process a little more clear to the dog in later yes. training. But if you just watch what we've got going on here, you'll see I'll work some duration. I'll break, break plenty of my own rules, as I normally do. Um, I'll do a little moving out of time. Uh, I'll do a little cueing the dog when I shouldn't or, uh, or working to get the dog's attention. And I certainly go well over the amount of time I should have spent during this training session, but um, that's one of the problems I have with my own dogs, and, and I understand that. I recognize it, and um, sometimes I, I work to change those issues I have, and sometimes I recognize them and continue on. Um, that's okay. I, I, that's one great thing about these reward-based training systems is, in my opinion, as long as the general trend uh, is in the right direction, um, it's pretty hard to, to do permanent damage. Uh, so... For whatever that's worth, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you, you learned something. Um, as always, feel free to email me with any questions or comments. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, look forward to hearing from you.
put her up on that one. Let's see.